Matthias Stöckel and I will present our proje project analyzing NFTs. Um, we had this project to uh, analyze NFTs as they're getting more and more popular and most papers analyzing crypto assets focus on fungible tokens and currencies. So we want to see uh, what metrics there are that uh, can be applied to NFT tokens, what patterns we can identify and how they can be differentiated and what trends can be seen. We will also compare them to some on-chain data with some off-chain data, and namely Google Trends and the transaction fees. To get the data, we uh, got the trends first from the Ethereum contract logs, Google Trends, and the transaction fees from Etherscan. First metric was the tokens held per owner. So we looked at how many tokens were held by, with, by how many owners. So we can see that the, this metric is rather similar for all of the NFTs. Uh, one exception is Gods Unchained, where the ecosystem is rather different, which leads to a rather different result here. And what is also interesting is in SoRare, there is an interesting plateau at three to six tokens. Um, we don't, we aren't really sure what causes this. Then we looked at the token distribution over time. So we looked at the tokens held by the top one percent of account and on for the average number of tokens per account. Here we see that Rarible, so rare, and Super Rare are becoming more centralized, and CryptoKitties and Gods Unchained are rather stable. Um, for Gods Unchained, this is likely due to the architecture, and for CryptoKitties, it's likely due to the decrease in demand for the NFT. Uh, one possibility for the seemingly uh, growing centralization would be uh, auction contracts and marketplaces, which are also included in this data set. So Matthias will continue with some real world data correlation. So our idea was to uh, look into the Google search trends and the transaction fees from the Ethereum chain and compare them with our NFT data. Uh, if we look at the Google search trends, we can see that in February of 2021, there was a huge hype, which is a lot bigger than any hype for the single tokens. And for CryptoKitties, there was a peak at the release date in November 2017. If we look at the transaction fees, we can see that at the same time as the NFT hype in February 21, there is also a spike in the transaction fees. If we now look into the NFTs rare, it was super rare and so rare, we can see that the uh, transactions for all three NFTs increased over time, but for super rare and so, uh, super rare and rareable, after the initial hype, the interest in the Google search trend uh, diminished, whereas for so rare, it kept quite high, which might be due to the European championships, which takes place at the moment. If we now go to CryptoKitties and Gods on Chain, we can see that at their release date, a lot of tokens got minted at once, and for CryptoKitties, this apparently had an influence on the Ethereum chain. There was a congestion, and because of this, probably the transaction fees increased from 0 0.15 to $1.5. Dollars. Uh, to give you an overview of what we have done, first we gathered data for five different NFTs, and then we compared them with the typical usage patterns, and we compared it also with real-world data like Google Search and the Ethereum transaction fees. Further work to be done might be to exclude the contract in our data so that only real-world users are covered. Of course, include more tokens and compare them with the already analyzed tokens and to find more real-world data and compare it with the data from the NFTs like Twitter hashtags, uh, compare real art trading to the NFT art trading, and look into future behavior of the NFTs. Thank you for your attention.